Hello everyone, my name is Nitin. I am a SAP Certified Development Professional. I am taking a course on SAP Hybris Online Training in which I will be covering all the SAP Hybris modules starting from basics to advanced. In this particular lecture, I am uh, covering the back office customization part of uh, Hybris in which we will be customizing our back office which is uh, out of the box provided by Hybris. So I'll give a brief about myself. I am a senior Hybris developer and a trainer. I am also SAP Certified Development professional and this is my email id it's nitin.hybris at the rate gmail.com so if you need if you have any queries regarding this course you can contact me over the email i'll uh, surely i'll make sure i reply to that email okay in this particular lecture we will be covering how we can customize our back office first of all these are there are like three steps uh, or we can say three uh, functionalities which we will be covering into it First one will be creating a, a custom back office extension. Second one will be creating a new tab for a customer for a, for a particular item type. Third one will be adding an a tree node into the left side of a of the back office for a particular item type. Okay, so I will be starting with these steps. So first one will be creating a uh, training back office extension. So this is a custom name which I have provided to my back office custom back, custom back office extension. You can provide any name which you want X Y Z back office extension whatever. Now second one will be the creating a new tab and adding the attributes for customer. So I have taken customer model as, customer as a base for this. So I will be uh, I will be modifying the customer layout for uh, for back office. Okay. These are will be the commands which we need to run. So first to uh, install our training back office extension, that is our custom extension. So we need to run, uh, we need to go to the platform and then we need to run and extgen. So and extgen will ask you for the template, which template you want to create. So here uh, this is a, there is a list of extension which are uh, a template which is given to you. In this you need to uh, select the by back office extension. By default, YMT is selected, but you need to write it down as Y back office extension. This will create your back office extension, uh, your custom back office extension, taking Y back office as a template. Now it will ask for your name. So, as I said, uh, I have given training back office as my name of the uh, like uh, uh, the name of my custom back office extension. You can give any name. Then it will ask for the package so you need to give the package of uh, your extension you can give any package here i have given com.habitis.training then it will ask for sas and sample widget and style sheet so you can keep the default options you can just press enter and you can move forward since we were we are not using sas or or the style sheet here so it doesn't matter if you select true or false next one will be the so, uh, once you have uh, run all these commands the your back office extension will be created into the custom folder you need to import it to your id so once you import it to your id it will show here like this in your custom folder it will have a training folder this uh, the training back office extension which you have created will be shown here next uh, step will be adding it to your local extensions so you just need to open your local extensions xml.xml.xml dot file, dot, uh, XML dot, uh, dot XML file and you need to add training back office in as a new extension here so that it can be picked while uh, doing the build next one will be so once you have done this part you need to move forward to the coding part of uh, back office customization you need to code what uh, what are the changes you want to see into your back office so okay so for this what you have to do is you just need to go to the training back office back office with config.xml file so this file will be created into your new extension which you have created so if i go to this file here so you need to write some code in there in this file training back office back office config.xml here you need to write this code which i have shown into the right slide i will uh, paste this code into description also so you can copy it directly uh, from there but still I will uh, request you to understand this by why we are writing this code and what uh, it does it mean and what it will do so in this we are writing the type type as customer so this will be the item type which you want to uh, edit into the back office so uh, uh, edit means uh, you want to add a new tab to which item type or which screen I will say so if you want to modify the customer part so just um, make it as customer type equal to customer you can write product also here whatever item type you want to modify 
next one will be the tab name so in this tab name you need to give give, the, give a key to which you will be giving the localization that is the name letter but you need to give a name so name will be the key for a tab so i have kept it as hmc dot tab dot customer dot personal so personal i have uh, given so hmc tab dot customer is the basic key till the uh, item type next one will be the uh, differentiation differentiator which you like which you will decide okay this is the new tab for me next one will be the uh, position position is is a number at which your tab will show so if you give it two it will show at the second uh, position if you give it as three it will show at the third position next one comes the editor section so editor section is nothing but when you open your tab you will see different sections so for that if you have a personal details uh, section you can show okay email ids as the section then you can show phone numbers as a section so you can create different sections for that you need to create editor area section in this section you need to provide the attribute which will show into that so similarly we have to give a name key here also so i have created a hmc section customer dot attributes then in editor area in this section you need to add the attributes which you want to show so here i have sh uh, shown contact email and original uid both these attributes need to be present in the customer model so how you can check whether the attributes you are adding are there into the customer model or not you can go to the customer model uh, class directly dot java file directly and you can see okay this is the contact email or original uid which you want to show just don't add any random uh, attribute otherwise the build will fail so the attributes which you are adding or which you are showing need to be present into the item type which you are using so both of these are part of customer so i am using it here next i'll show uh, okay i i believe this code uh, part is clear to each and every one of you if you have any doubts regarding this just comment below next one will be the uh, step to add a new tab into the back office in this what we are going to do is we are going to give names to, our, to the new tab which is going to which is getting created so for this you need to go to the locale en file of the training back office so training back office locales underscore en dot properties file this file will be having the uh, definitions for uh, the localization localized name for your keys which you have given for your attributes so as you can see here i have given contact email and original uid as attributes so i will write type is customer type dot customer dot contact email so contact email is the attributes and i want to show contact under uh, contact space email as a name for that next one will be type dot customer dot original uid i want to show original underscore uh, original space uid as my name for this attribute next you will open labels en dot properties file so when you open labels en dot properties file you will see here hmc dot tab dot personal that is the key which you have given into your config file here that was the key and you need to give the localized value for it so what the localized value will be personal details you can give any detail any name you want so this is the name only that, that for display purpose next is the section name so whatever uh, name you want to give to this section you just have to give that so once you uh, do this you just need to run ant all and then you need to do the system update so by system update i mean when you go to the system update platform and then update after logging into your hsc you need to select update running system and localized types these two things you need to select uh, rest of all of them just uncheck them so once you do this just go to the back office and open any customer so if you go to the back office and search for customer here i'll open this customer let's say so in this customer you will see at third position first second and third which is uh, which is given by us at third position you will see a personal details tab will be created these personal details is nothing but the localized name of the key which we have given for the tab and these contact details this is the name for our key which we have given here for the section so now after this you will see these two attributes these are the two attributes which we have, which we have configured into our config file here so these were the two attributes contact email and the original uid these are showing here and contact space email and original space uid these are the localized names which we have given for our files uh, for our attributes sorry here so i hope this part is clear we are now uh, able to see our new tab 
into the customer part of the back office so this is this is a small customization which we which you can do into back office and that is uh, and this is a day to day requirement of projects they want a separate segre segregation for some of the attributes just for the customer support and admin to have a better view of the ui and to go to some attributes directly <coughs> okay so i believe this is clear to you and uh, this uh, this is my email id nathan.habits at the gmail.com so if you have any issues regarding this course you can uh, contact me and also you can comment below uh, also in the starting i have mentioned that we will be creating adding a true node also and uh, advanced search options also but that we will be doing into the uh, main lecture which is a part of my course so if you like this one uh, this uh, back office customization part for creating a new tab you can contact me and you can enroll into my course directly i hope you enjoyed the session thank you and have a nice day